हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू फॉरेंसिक हंट चैनल आई होप एवरीबॉडी इज डूइंग वेल टुडे विल बी स्टडिंग अबाउट कॉम्पोजिशन ऑफ इंक इंक कॉम्पोजिशन प्लेज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रोल इन इंक एनालिसिस एंड इंक एनालिसिस फॉल्स अंडर द सब्जेक्ट ऑफ क्वेश्चन डॉक्यूमेंट एग्जामिनेशन अपार्ट फ्रॉम एनालाइजिंग द हैंड राइटिंग एंड द पेपर क्वालिटी वी ऑल्सो ट्राई टू एनालाइज द इंक बिकॉज अल्टीमेटली इंक हैज़ बिन यूज टू राइट दैट पर्टिकुलर फॉर्ज डॉक्यूमेंट if we are not talking about a computer generated document then obviously ink analysis will play an important role so composition of ink will differ depending upon the type of pen we have used if we have used ball pen gel pen fountain pen then obviously some of the compositions like what kind of solvent base has been used what kind of coloring material has been used whether organic pigments have been used inorganic pigments have been used dye has been used so these things will differ and ultimately the composition of ink will be varying so what is ink this is the first and foremost question that arises so ink is a liquid or paste that contains pigments or dyes and is used to color a surface to produce an image text or design so ink is used for drawing or writing with a pen brush or quill so thicker inks in paste form are used extensively in letter press and lithographic printing so ink can be a complex medium composed of solvents pigments dyes resins lubricants solubilizers surfactant particular matter fluorescent and other material so yeah if fluorescent material has been added in the composition of ink then obviously sometimes your ink will also give fluorescence so that thing is also analyzed by analysis of ink so this is the basic definition of ink and i already told you the composition of ink will differ because we are adding pigments dye resin lubricant surfactant particulate matter fluorescent so that's why composition of ink is very important now obviously if we are going to study about ink then obviously we do need to have a certain knowledge about history of ink so ink basically started in ancient egypt and china during 2500 bc that is before christ and it consisted of lamp black ground with a solution of glue or gum and that was molded into sticks and it was dried and then those sticks were mixed with water and that's how ink was made so now comes the classification of ink now the writing ink which we use has usually been classified into ball point and non ball point pen now non ball point pen will have roller ball felt tip gel or fountain pen now this has uh, this categorization has been done uh, depending upon the writing mechanism uh, basically the tip of the pen of the ball point pen has a ball and that ball basically delivers the ink on the substrate that is paper so that's how the concept of ball point and non ball point pen so non ball point ink are primarily aqueous based or more fluid while ball point ink are thicker and more viscous and they contain glycols and solvents so therefore depending upon the composition the ball point and non ball point pen ink also differ on aging parameter so sometimes uh, we have analyzed that uh, non ball point pen ink usually washes off if we if you put water on it but nowadays due to advanced formulation uh now that problem has been eradicated so there are different parameters on the basis of which you can identify or differentiate ball point and non ball point pen ink but the major categorization is has been done depending upon the writing mechanism ball point pen tip has a ball and that ball basically rolls and the ink is delivered onto the surface of the paper now there are different types of ink so first we'll study about indian ink now how indian ink is made so indian ink is a dispersion of carbon black in water and that particular suspension is stabilized by adding different substances sometimes we used shellac or soap or gelatin or glue now the question arises what is shellac so shellac is a resin that is secreted by the female lac bug on trees that are found in the forest of india and thailand and it is also sold as dry flakes and uh, it is dissolved in ethanol to make liquid shellac now apart from this it is also used to make bangles you must have heard about uh, lac bangles so 
for lac mangles also shellac is used so it is mainly used for drawing and it is usually reddish color now the first patent was issued in england in 1772 for making colored inks and in 19th century different chemical drying agents uh, started being uh, incorporated in the ink to prolong the life of the ink now what are the different chemicals that are present in the ink obviously if you are studying about the ink and mainly about its composition then we do need to know what are the different chemicals present in them now before that i would like to tell you that ink was used in ancient egypt for writing and drawing on papyrus for at least the 26th century and then egyptian red and black uh, black ink included iron and ochre as a pigment they started being used so the history of ink can be traced back to the egyptian period and chinese period chinese now there are three main chemicals that are used in ink uh first one is colorant obviously from the name itself it's clear that it will be providing color to the ink now we use different colored uh, ink like black blue pink yellow depending upon our use and requirement so two different types of colorants are used in the ink and it includes pigment and dye now the major difference between the pigment and dye that is used in the ink as colorant is uh their solubility both of them differ on one parameter that is solubility pigments are insoluble in most of the solvents and water while dye are soluble in most of the solvents and water and the colorants that is pigment and dye they can either be synthetic or organic but nowadays we don't use organic dyes they were used in earlier periods now most of the companies used synthetic colorants that have been manufactured in the lab then apart from colorant solvent is present and solvent we all know uh, it basically provides fluidity to the composition so the fluid portion of the ink that suspends and delivers the colorant that is either pigment or dye to the substrate is known as vehicle and solvent plays a role as vehicle now from the name itself it's clear that vehicle will basically help in carrying the color from the refill or the cartridge to the paper that's what the role of vehicle is to help in moving from one place to another so here the vehicle role is played by the solvent so once on paper the solvent will undergo different series of changes and and it will get uh, fixated over the paper so vehicle or varnish varnish i have already discussed it is used as a solvent to dissolve the dye and in case of pigments it act as a liquid in which pigments are suspended and basically it helps to transfer the ink from pen to the paper and finally it helps the ink to bind to the paper so that it is not not rubbed off easily now usually glycols alcohols and water are commonly found in today's pen and they are used as vehicle or varnish apart from that additives are also used now additives are added apart from pigment colorant uh, and uh, vehicle to provide certain characteristic to the ink obviously nowadays there are different kinds of ink available in the market according to our use we buy that particular pen and ink if you want to go for fountain ink then obviously we go for fountain ink ballpoint pen then obviously it will be having ballpoint pen ink now the difference lies in the additives also the, so basically additives are added in the ink to impart certain characteristics for example wax is added to impart toughness to the ink while certain oils are added to give more flow to the ink you must have seen some pen give a good smooth flow while other pens are not that much uh, smooth so the major difference lie in the what kind of additives have been added in the ink so resins are also added now resins can be natural or synthetic and they are incorporated in the ink to provide them with desired viscosity and it also provide a means to bond the ink to basically compile the ink and substrate so that the ink dries when it is delivered onto the paper now pigments are also added 
Pigments are basically solid opaque particles that are suspended in the ink to provide color. The major role of pigment is to provide color. Now obviously the color which you are using should be opaque. It shouldn't get mixed with the paper and become transparent. Obviously if you are writing something then obviously it should be opaque. Then only it will be visible on the paper. So pigment should be opaque. So pigments appear the color they are because they reflect and absorb certain wavelength of visible light. Now we all know the importance of reflection and absorption of light. That's how we see different things and different colors in our real life. Now, apart from that, pigment also consists 50 to 30 percentage of ink volume. Now, ink pigments can be both organic and inorganic. Nowadays, we are using inorganic pigments. For example, if you are using white ink, then it will contain titanium dioxide as pigment. Or if you are using metallic pigments, then it will contain aluminium powder copper zinc and they will give provide silver or gold ink so if you are using a silver ink then obviously it will be having aluminium powder and if you are using gold ink then it will be having copper zinc alloy powder now there are so many pigments so how those pigments are identified they are identified by a color index system and that color index system will be reflecting the shade of the color or hue and the structure and the details of the pigment in what era or in which year it was put, uh, made just like munsell color chart this particular color chart will also will provide all the details now dye dye is basically uh, water soluble as i have already discussed dye is also used to provide color and they they are basically dye based inks are made with solvent that dry rapidly as they have the tendency to soak in the paper immediately. Now, dye and pigment both are used as a colorant. But why pre we prefer dye? Because dye is preferred as it doesn't tend to clog with the pen tip. Now, difference between the dye and the pigment. So, the ma major differentiating feature between the dye and the pigment is that uh, pigment contains finer particles and uh, insoluble it is insoluble in nature and it can be suspended in the vehicle easily while dye dye is usually soluble and moreover it can't be sus uh, basically transferred on the paper easily so that's why pigment is more favored as compared to dye so pigments are generally more stable also and more long lasting uh, than the dye as pigments are less prone to photo decomposition and they are insoluble in water. So whenever any pen manufacturing company will try to make ink then obviously they will be favoring pigment more because it is uh, more stable, more insoluble in most of the solvents and obviously if we are trying to make any composition then uh, the factor that that particular compound is stable plays and plays a very important role so these are the major differentiating features between the dye and the pigment apart from that pigments are more opaque than the dye and i have already told you that if we are writing on paper then if if the pigment is not opaque then it will mix with the paper surface and nothing will be visible now these are the five major categories of the pigments organic pigments toners lakes extended pigments and inorganic pigments so these are the five major categories of the pigments so that's it for today's video if you liked the video then do hit the subscribe button and do like our video and please hit the subscribe button please thank you